high. So it seems the uncertainty of 2020 has continued. And in what many of us, if not all of us, really needed to be a really clear and certain election is not. Different day, same message. Social media, the world, the pain, the hurt, the trauma, the grief, the disappointment, everything that we are attempting to survive in 2020 has not actually turned us all into magical mind readers and heart and soul readers. It's may have actually done the opposite. There's a lot of us living from the stories that we make up. I read who you voted for and my brain in the absence of other concrete evidence of everything about your life in the weariness of what is 2020. My brain plows through the discomfort that who you voted for hurts me or disappoints me or brings me grief or just outright pisses me off. And so what happens is my brain comes in to save the day and it makes up a bunch of stories about who you are and what you believe and how you feel and how come, actually why you voted that way. Despite how our system is set up in this very dichotomous, polarizing, divisive, two-party way, it's not how our hearts and souls and brains are made, let alone relationships and this world. And so in the lack of data, we are just living from the stories that we make up in the chronic constant trauma that we are living in right now. We are living from the stories that we are making up. You actually do not know every reason and every feeling behind someone or their true full life experience based on one piece of information of who they voted for. This does not mean that who they voted for doesn't hurt you or create grief or righteous anger. Lean into that, it hurts, I know. You don't know everything about someone based off of who they voted for. You don't. I know it feels easier. Uncertainty and grief and anger and trauma is brutal to feel. And right now, we're done feeling it. We don't want to feel it. We just want something to be true and integral and clear. And I don't know when we're going to get that. So again... Own what it brings up for you. Name your feelings. Wrestle with them with the people you love and trust. And if that relationship with that person who voted differently than you or whose vote does hurt you, if that relationship means something to you and is built on trust and vulnerability, perhaps, I wonder, what it would be like for you to ask them about how come they voted that way, to let them know that it does hurt you. I don't know how else we heal. I don't. The hatred and the division and the judgment and the shaming and the blaming and all of that will not heal us. That does not mean that there is not righteous 
anger and disappointment and grief though. When we refuse to name those emotions and to get curious about them and to rumble with them and we refuse to get curious about how come someone feels or believes or thinks the way they do, the division only gets greater. And I don't, God knows we don't need any more of that. 